Okay, today we're going to install a giant chip in this giant Trance E+. Plus. You install this chip to unlock the speed and it also gives you a correct speedo reading. We have an alternative for the giant that's a lot easier. It's a software upgrade that we can do if you're near one of our locations. But for this video we're going to show you how the chip is installed. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take off this crank arm. In this case, on this bike, you don't need a crank puller. You just need an Allen key. Okay, next step, we're going to take these two Allen key bolts off on this cover. Okay, next step is to get these two Allen key bolts on the front of the guard. Okay, now around the other side of the bike we need to undo the sprocket so we can access some bolts behind it. Okay, now we need to take the chain off the sprocket. And we can just drop it over the crank out of the way. Now we need to get this little Allen key bolt on the guard. And then we can remove that motor guard. Now, on this particular model, some models you don't have to do this, there's a bolt behind here for the engine that you need to get to. On other models you don't have to take off this cover, but for this one we're going to have to, so we're going to take off this chain guard next. Okay, now that's out of the way, there's three Allen key bolts on this cover. Okay, now thankfully this cover's dropped and we can access that bolt without taking off any of this here. Now we're going to go to this front engine bolt. You want to be careful on doing these, because they're very tight. You don't want to slip and burr your hex nuts. We'll go to this back engine bolt. This one we're not going to take out all the way. Just going to loosen one or two turns. And then this one we're going to try and jiggle right out. Before dropping the motor we need to remove this cover, taking these two allen key screws off and pulling off this cover. Okay, now back around to the other side of the bike, go to this top engine bolt. Carefully loosen this. We're going to take this one all the way out. We're going to take out the battery. Next, we're going to go to this back engine bolt. Loosen it off a couple of turns. We'll see if we can drop the motor. We just gently pull on the bottom. Give it a wiggle. That's still very stiff. Okay, so you can see I've now got the motor dropped. This plate was here. Yep, like this. And we'd forgotten to take that off, which was stopping us getting the full grip of the motor. So we took out these two Allen key bolts, pop that off. Now we've got the motor dropped, ready to access the cables to install the chip. So now we'll get our E plus chip, and here it is here, it's got a green light and a red light which we'll explain later, and then it's got these plugs. Now obviously these plugs match some plugs on the engine, so you don't have to be worried about plugging them into the wrong thing, uh, generally if they fit they're the right one. 
Okay, it's a little difficult to see because of the cover, but you can tell these giant bikes have got a lot of plugs and a lot of cables packed in a really small area. I've opened up a few that are just an absolute rat's nest and it's a nightmare to get the motor back in. So you really want to make sure that you don't mess up the wires too much if they're in a good spot. If they're already a complete mess, then you're just going to have to deal with that when you get to putting them back together. Okay, so first we'll find the plug to match this one, the larger plug. See this is it here. Get a screwdriver, push down gently on this little clip and you'll hear a click. Then there you go, you unplug and you can get the E plus chip end, plug it in, hear a snap, and then the other end from the motor, plug that in, there you go. Now we've got to find the other plug, the smaller one. Okay, here it is hanging down here, didn't notice it. Same deal, push down on that clip, unplug it, plug one end into the E plus chip, then plug the other end into the E plus chip. Check the connectors are firm. If you'd like, you can heat shrink these, but I feel the connectors are pretty sturdy, so I'm not going to do that. There's very limited room in here, so you want the wires to be flexible and as small as possible. Now comes the tricky part, we've got to shove this chip up in here without losing the room for all the other components and etc. So what I tend to do is try and thread the chip behind the wires that are existing and get that block of plugs behind where that bolt goes through. That ridge where the bolt goes through you want the plugs behind that so it's not hitting them and stopping that and go all the way up to the top. Alternatively, another spot you can put them is underneath this plate here, just underneath the battery mount. There's a bit of room there. It's a bit of a shuffle. One of the sneaky spots you can put the chip is if you can reach long enough, you can fit it inside the seat tube. So under here's a hole so you can get the chip you can poke it up into the seat chip like that and then run the wire along. That's what I'm going to try and do now. Depending on the bike and the existing cables already in the seat tube will depend if you have any chance of fitting this chip up there. Oh, there we go. It's tricky, but we're up. We're up in behind the seat tube. So now what we need to do is try and get all these wires back tucked away as best we can. Okay, at this stage it's a good idea to flip the bike upside down and let gravity help you. So there's a couple cables that go under the motor like this. And then there's a couple that tuck into this guard area here, like that. And then here we've got the ones, some of the ones the chip's plugged into, which we've got tucked up in the front here right now. You may need to pull a little more for some of these wires so you can pull the plugs attached to the chip a little further away. As you try and push it all back together. Okay, stop videoing because it was quite fiddly, taking me a long time. But now we've got it, we've got the three cables going over the motor. The motor's down in position. Back here behind this cover, you can see I've got the majority of plugs and cables tucked away as best I could and a few tucked down there. And then when we put this back together, the bottom guard should squeeze that cover on nicely and should be all together. 
Okay, first step of back together, we're going to get the engine mounting bolt on the chain side and we're going to put that in. You may need to just push on the motor a bit to get it started if it's not quite sitting low enough. Then we're going to tighten the back motor mount bolt. Okay, now we're going to put the motor mount bolts in on this side. We're going to put this plastic cover back on, just clip it on there. Now back to the chain side and we're going to put this plastic cover here back on. Okay, before you put the chain ring back on, we're going to put the bottom guard here back on. I'm going to start with this bolt at the back. Okay, we're putting in the front bolts and tightening up the side bolts on this guard. Okay. Finally, we're going to put our crank arm back on.